Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you softwares and the hardware that I use to draw um, near enough everything I draw. So, um, if you guys didn't know, things that I draw are mainly like cartoons and stuff. So like, I'll draw stuff like uh, this. This is my, I quite like this one. This guy's amazing actually, you should go check him out um, on his Twitch. His name is Traven Shan. Um, link in the description. I draw stuff like this. That's me, that is. Uh, this is a bit more kind of, I don't know, sketchy. Um, it's my avatar right now, actually. At this present moment, it's also quite sketchy. But yeah, I should basically draw stuff like that. Um, it's one of my favourites at the moment. But yeah, I just draw, draw stuff like that. Uh, and I also do like photo edits and stuff. I know everything's spelt wrong. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, it's just like that. And yeah, but anyway, should we begin? I think we should. Anyway, um, the main things that I will use are Photoshop to resize things. Sorry about that. That's a bit. Um, sorry. And uh, Paint Tool Side to draw. So I drew this in Paint Tool Side. This is a ripoff or well, the same thing as. Uh, this one I just kind of mashed up a bit and added an arm and stuff because he's going to be saying, oh, I'm, I'm offline right now, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So, you like same person, added a mouth, added an arm. And it looks completely different near enough. But, yeah. So, uh, that's quite cool. Actually, same guy in here as well. Just a different version. Uh, but, yeah. So, um, I'll use Paint All Sci. Um as the main software and I'm just going to go for a few things with Paint Tool Sci um, that I do. So um, I will always draw my sketch without the stabilizer on so I'll just draw like in black a sketch say I wanted to draw a house. This is really crap because I want to be really quick. Da -da 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 -da. It's a door. There you go, see? Then I'll draw add a layer on top and make this uh, bring the opacity down so it's a bit, uh, so it's a bit opaque so I can't really see it much. I'll put the sensitivity on 3 or S3 and I'll just go over it and make the lines nice and smooth. Now it's always good or not good but like it's all, don't be afraid to undo your lines because undoing your lines saves your life sometimes. Don't feel weak when you undo your lines. I used to feel like that. I used to feel like oh but, I, but that's, that's bad. That's not, that's, that's not normal. You can't undo lines all the time because you're making mistakes. Mistakes are good. I know it sounds really cheesy right now, but really seriously, mistakes are good. They won't make you learn. But anyway, yeah, that's really quick. But it just it should make this stabilizer makes everything so smooth. If you look at that, if I try and do this with this, it's just kind of wants to do that maybe. But like, if I'm trying to do it at the same speed, it's just kind of. But yeah, this is why I use this software because of the stabilizer. If everything had that stabilizer, I would use Photoshop. But there you go. Photoshop likes with this software I'm recording with, so you know, don't mind that. But uh, that's one software. Oh, and I use Critter. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing software. I tell you, this is um, free software. Go check it out. Link in the description. I believe Paint Tool Sci is free too, but uh, it never says anywhere. You just like, oh, I should download it, and then it's it, it doesn't say it's piracy or anything that anywhere, and. I, I'm not sure, could somebody find that out for me? Because if it, I can buy it somewhere, I will buy it. But, um, I'm sorry if I am pirating there. I'm, I don't know if I am, so does that count? Probably does. Uh, Paint Tools, but, uh, Paint Tools, Critter is completely free. As you can see, um, it's next to no lag. Awesome painting tool, um, for painting, that is. Wait, I said that. But yeah, uh, I, was just, I was just painting this, so I thought I'd carry on with it. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, you should check this out. It's completely free, open source. Link in the description, as I said. Link in the description for this. Link in the description for paint uh, Photoshop CS2, which is very similar to CS uh, CC, which is the one, the latest one, which is the one I've got. They got off my college. Um... But it's free, uh, Paint Tool, uh, see, oh shit, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2, there you go, that's what I was going to say, 
Um, it's free now. There's a link in the description. You have to make an, uh, an, uh, an Adobe account and go get it. So yeah, that's a short thing going through the software that they use. Uh, this is mainly for painting, by the way. Just saying, like this sort of thing, uh, or better probably. But yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is my hardware. So let me put my let me put my webcam on. There's my webcam. Hello, how are you doing? Anyway, um, well, this is my Wacom. Uh, bamboo fun pen and touch it is an amazing Wacom tablet here. This is this is a, one of the cheaper ones and it's the A4 size, uh, but it is amazing. It's done me well, and I'm gonna get the 600 one, which is the cheapest Cintiq that you can get, which is the uh, basically LCD tablet that you can draw on with pressure sensitivity. And it's 600 pounds Cintiq, uh, and it is amazing, and I would like it, but this will have to do me till then. Um, I'm trying to show you how these work because before I had one of these, I had absolutely no idea how how it work, and if I'd like it or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you how it would work. I absolutely hate that alarm clock. I need to reset it. Anyway, if you look, when I hover, the mouse moves. Um, I'll show it in the darker bits because it doesn't really sharpen the lighter bits. But yeah, when I hover, the mouse moves. So basically, it's not like a trackpad when you track like when you do this, and you can just stay in one place. You have to set this extra touch off actually. Like you have this part of the the um, tablet is this part of the screen basically, and this part of the tablet is this part of the screen. So well, this part of the screen, like yeah. But when you have two monitors, this part of the screen is here, and the other bit is all the way over on the other monitor. If you can see that, like I can go all the way to the other monitor. So having two monitors, by the way, is very very handy when you're an artist because number one. If you're streaming when you're an artist, you can have the channel one. But that's just a general thing with any streamers. Uh, number two, I'm doing all hand gestures by accident here. Number two, I, I always do hand gestures. You just don't see them until now. Oh shit. Anyway, um, number two is that when you're trying to copy a picture, say I was trying to copy um, a picture of uh, Sean. Here we go. Sean. Sean will do. So I was trying to copy a picture of Sean. Have the picture of Sean on this side, and then have the art I was doing on this side, and just do this and stuff. And I'll be like, ah, oh, I look over there, and I carry on here. So you don't have to quit, keep like splitting your screen in half and stuff, because that's just annoying. But anyway, that's the hardware side nearly done. Um, I'm just gonna show you the buttons on this pen. So it's like a little rocker, as you can see, like rock, rock, rock. See, and this side is like the move tool like you you like you press it and hold it to move around the screen and I'll show you that in a second this is the options bit the bu options button for me at least on um, I've set it to that but that's the default I think for Photoshop the options button is this one and also this is a rubber so in most softwares the rubber is you can just flip the pen over and it'll switch to a rubber tool flip the pen back and switch to the pen tool which is amazing um, I'm going to show you what I mean by the move tool and the options tool in Photoshop right now. Um, so, we're in Photoshop. Um, sorry about the slight uh, crookedness. I was showing, I was doing a demonstration before this that didn't work. Anyway, <coughs> right, as I was showing you, options tool. And I can just, you know, change my hardness, change the size, you know. I do this a lot. Yeah. And then you've got the move tool, and you can just basically move around like this. Then um, one other thing I wanted to show you with hardware that I forgot to show you is that if I was to turn touch on, so touch on, um, and I was to bring my hand around, and I, I can use it as a touchpad basically, which is really cool. Let me just quickly do that. I can use it as a touchpad, which is really there goes my pen, which is really cool. Um, also, I can like you know tap like this, or I can use the click button, which is here. Also, here this is the touch on and touch off tool. And uh, say I wanted to go into Photoshop, which is down here. Um, I could zoom, so that's not zoom at all. Let's make it straight again. I can zoom. That's not zoom at all. Why is it never zoom when I tell it to? You can zoom. There you go. There you go. You can zoom out, and then you can turn like this. 
This is not the race one for this. Uh, and there's loads of other stuff. I don't remember really. I don't really use that. It's kind of really buggy for me. Especially when you play gu the guitar, your fingers turn like touch sensitivity. Like it doesn't work because your fingers are so hard after playing the guitar. Anyway, um, that is about it actually. And then one other thing I wanted to show you is if you're a streaming YouTuber, I want to cough. <coughs> oh God. If you are a stream YouTuber and you sh stream YouTuber, that makes no sense. If you're a streaming artist, the, probably the best website for this. This is another streaming artist, in fact. You should probably check him out. He's amazing. He has a YouTube too. But um, you can go on Twitch and stream art, in case you didn't know. I do this a lot. Um, you can check out my profile. Uh, if you, all you guys want to go check that out. Um, 275 followers now, apparently. I got bombed the other day, which was cool. Um... And you can basically broadcast your art on here, which is really cool. And you can see all the stuff I've done. So, like, if you don't get in many videos in here, which you don't, and you want to see me draw, you can come over here and watch it live. Um, if you watch, like, I've got... No, this is me drawing the thing that you just saw over here. But I don't think you saw that. Did you see? I don't know. But, yeah. So, it's quite cool. Um, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I uh, said it in the video as well. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped. And I hope everything went... I hope that you... I don't know. Hope that you have a happy new year. Um, 2014 now. Hope it wasn't as shit as last year. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.